Okay, so editor max tokenization line length. Lines above this length will not be tokenized for performance reasons. So there's um, two main criteria that um, VS Code uses when it tries to determine if it should um, do syntax highlighting and other kinds of stuff on files. And those criteria are um, the file must be below 20 megabytes. So it's above, if it's above that, it's not going to have syntax highlighting and most of the features that you usually have on VS Code for performance reasons. Or if the file has more than 300,000 lines of code, right? If it's, it's a file with that many lines, it, again, uh, VS Code is not going to bother, bother with syntax highlighting and format on save and all that good stuff. But there's another um, another um, limit, which is this one, which is the line length. The file may be relatively small. It may not have that many lines, but if the line has more than 20,000 characters, it's going to not tokenize, tokenize, meaning it's not gonna do syntax highlighting on this file, or at least not on this line. Um, and again, for performance reasons, right? Um, and this actually happens quite a lot, <clears throat> especially in front-end development, because you code an app, and then usually you have a build process, and your files will be minified, and they will all put together, like you have, imagine you have a bunch of CSS and JavaScript files, right? They will be minified and they will be smushed together and you will have one single CSS file that is just like one line, one really long line. And it's going to be the same thing with JavaScript, just one single JavaScript file with a really long line and all your code is in there. And when you're looking at something like that, and that's, I guess, the most common use case, you don't really need syntax highlighting. I mean, what's it for? You, 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 I mean, you're just looking at a um, minified uh, file. You can't really read anything from that, um, which doesn't stop you from selecting the file and formatting it, right, manually. So um, it's not that you can't uh, do you format the file and see its syntax highlighting. It's not that you you don't really care for it if it's all in one line. So this this is what the setting is for, and I think that twenty k is a pretty good uh, pretty good number. So I would just leave this one, um, and it's the false value.